Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Well, Loopy Pro version 1.1 has just been released, and today we are going to start to look at new features. And in particular, today we are going to look at multiple input and multiple outputs, which of course you need to upgrade to use this feature. Before I continue, I would like to remind uh, my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So we are inside AUM. Let's create an audio channel and let's load Loopy Pro as uh, an insert effect. And there it is. The reason that we are loading it as an insert effect is because we want to record something from another audio unit and show you also multiple inputs. So in this case, let's um, um, load something like Digistick. And we go for Digistix 2, one of my favorite uh, uh, drum AUV3 from Paul for Pockets. So we set in as a host to sync and we create some very basic, uh, basic pattern for bass drum, like so. So we go back to uh, Loopy Pro, we open it up and we start to record. But before we do that, let's have a look at the user interface. You can see something has changed here, right? And that it is your input, and it says input down here at the bottom. And then you have your output here, right? And at the bottom it says master. Now, if I click here and on the input, it says monitor, which is on at the moment, another option, of course. But then you have input bus. So you can click on here and you can change which input bus you are going to use, which in this case will come from this audio channel, right? Okay. So, um, and here you have your output, which at the moment is set to master. But if you go at the bottom right here and you click plus, you can add an auxiliary output. Let's click on it and you have another output and it will say output number one. How do you set it to go to output, output number one instead of master? Well, click somewhere where it says master. And here you have now the selection of output one alongside master. And you can also add here another auxiliary output. So click on it again and you have output number two. Click again, you have output number three. Okay, so that is uh, how it works. Very simple. Okay, let's click play. And I should say, I'm going to record that bass drum. Okay, I have recorded that on the orange color. And as you can see, I'm using the input num bus number one. Okay, uh, let me stop that, uh, that color to uh, play. And indeed, if I was to change these to input bus number two, and I click play, you don't hear any more the bass drum and you don't see anything on the meter here because uh, I don't have input one selected where I have Digistick 2. So, but if I was to select again input uh, bus one, you will hear the kick drum which is coming from this Digistick uh, 2 audio unit instance. Now let's use the same again and uh, let's record um, um, snares which um, um, we want to go alongside, of course, um, oops, the, um, the bass drum. Okay, perfect. Now, let's go and record. Okay, perfect. Now, let's uh, get rid of that digistick to uh, audio unit, so let's click play. Okay, now, as you can see, um, both uh, uh, colors here have set master, and you see the output coming out from the uh, master output here. Right here, okay. You can also see coming out from this audio uh, channel here at the bottom, you see activity in green. Okay, let's create another audio channel. And now let's click to insert another audio effects. And instead of searching for Loopy Pro, we go to Multibus Audio Unit Instances and you will find again Loopy Pro. We select it and now you have the option on the left hand side, of course, to select the 
audio input for that instance. And if you scroll down, you have also the auxiliary audio output. So again, and as you can see, up to 32, lots of choice. So let's duplicate this channel. Okay, and we have again another instance and you see it says three and three here and two and two. Now let's click play again and you will see a, a sound activity coming out only for channel number one of AUM. Now let's activate, um, um, let's open up again Loopy Pro. Here on the orange color where it says master, let's remove that and select output number one. And then let's go for the yellow color, let's deselect master and let's select output number two. And now you will see the activity coming out from the other channels. Indeed, here you have the kick drum or bass drum. And here you have the snare. Okay, so that is how, you, how it works. You have multiple output and you can redirect the uh, different colors output to different uh, channel or output destination. Now let's try to record something from a different input bus, okay? And let's go here on the second channel and let's click on the plus sign and let's um, load something like, um, why not, Hilda, which is really nice. And um, let's, um, um, well, actually let's connect it to the AUM keyboard like so and let's open up Loopy Pro. Let's have the right window size. Of course, you don't hear anything because of the wrong input bus. Click here. Let's change that to number two. So he's taking the input and out from the input bus number two, which is this one. Okay, it's a two there as well. So he's, uh, um, of course, when I click on the EOM keyboard, I'm sending me the message to Hilda and uh, that is playing for input bus number two and the which is captured by Loopy Pro. So now I can uh, record. And of course now I could, for example, duplicate this uh, last channel, like so. Now I have channel number four. There, I'll go inside the Loopy Pro again. And now I set this uh, yellow color here. Let's uh, hide the AUM keyboard. And let's maximize this window, like so. Expand the mixer view. And instead of uh, having a destination as a master, uh, we go to num output number three, like so. And now you have activity coming out on audio channel number four. Remember, the first one is the master. And now you can have fun. You can add, for example, a delay effect, like the dub delay. That's a joy. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoyed uh, the tutorial. As you can see, now you have multi-input and multi-output uh, feature inside the Loopy Pro, so which is fantastic news. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.